Scarlet Knights have the tip, and Paul Mulcahy will get things going. Pam Spencer, the outstanding transfers, won a couple huge games for them. Amori had it knocked away, and Connor McCaffrey's got it for Iowa. Good initial double team there by Iowa to create the turnover. Now Aaron Uless. On the drive, may have shuffled his feet, and he did. Rutgers forces nearly 16 turnovers per game. Iowa, one of the lowest turnover teams in the country, but up there on their first possession. And Rutgers returns the favor. As Rutgers showing a little pressure, Brian. And they're going to do this, and it's because the versatility of the players on the floor it gives them the ability to kind of change the defenses throughout the entire game. Talking to Fred McCaffrey earlier, he said he really wants his team to attack that pressure, but instead they turn it over for the second time. Here's Spencer through the lane, knocked away. It'll be Rutgers' ball. Iowa third in the nation in assist to turnover ratio. They average about 10 per game. They do not have a single player on their roster who has more turnovers than assists coming into this game. Amori leaves that one short. Offensive rebound, though, McConnell. And the first two points of the game go to the Scarlet Knights. Tony Perkins. A fabulous game against Maryland when we were over here a couple weeks ago. Murray, that one doesn't go. And the rebound tracked down now by Spencer, but he stepped out. So they can get him going here again. Points are hard to come by, of course, against the Scarlet Knights. Here is Perkins. That one doesn't go. A Murray man grabbed that one off the rim. Certainly the Iowa fans think so. And they look that way, Dave. That's exactly what it looked like. They have trouble getting it in, and it will go to Iowa. Been sloppy on both ends here so far. Iowa still looking for its first points. Pablacha backing down on Amori, and Amori clears the board. Knocked away, though, temporarily by Perkins. Okay, he has it. way into the lane. Nice defense by Murray. We've seen a lot of good defense on both sides of the ball here. It's an Iowa team last in the Big Ten in defensive efficiency and conference play, but you wouldn't know it from this start. And now they force the fifth turnover of the game here for Rutgers. We are less than three minutes in, Brian. And the only positive is they haven't been live ball turnovers, so Iowa hasn't been able to get that ball and go in transition, but way too many turnovers. It's a Rutgers team that doesn't shoot it great. They're 11th in the Big Ten in field goal percentage, three-point percentage. they got to get shots on the rim, get offensive rebounds, and you can't do that when you're turning it over, needless to say. And you hit it, give themselves an opportunity for offensive rebounds. They're so good in that area. There's Rebracha again on Amori. Cut off momentarily and can't get it up on the rim. And McConnell's got it here for Rutgers. So been a defensive tussle here early on. McConnell now to Spencer. Here's Amori. And he is fouled. It's both free throws, and man, they've got the recruiting rolling now for Rutgers. They got a commitment from Gavin Griffiths from West Hartford, Connecticut, a five-star as Spencer causes the turnover. And Spencer is fouled. Just one of seven combined for these two teams. They have more turnovers than field goal attempts. And a foul on Ulis. There's McConnell. Hits it. And two for Caleb. McConnell gives him four of Rutgers' first six. Kind of a mirror image of what we saw in Piscataway. Good start for Rutgers, but Iowa. Gets two for Mr. Reliable, Chris Murray. Here's Mag now, answering on the other end. Oh, 
Uless on the drive, knocked away by Amori, but he's called for the foul. State. He scored 17 against his first two here this afternoon. Well, Dave, you talk about only six made free throws against Michigan State. One of the reasons they didn't win the game. Other than that, I thought they played really good against Michigan State. Rutgers able to break the press. Mag through the lane. Milwaukee Mag with four early points. And Rutgers back up by a half dozen. Here's Ulyss. Quick trigger, but he hits it. Chow getting to the free throw line, then retreat, dribbling back out. Nobody stayed with him. Wide open three look there. Rutgers has made its last four shots on this end. Amori, they turn it over again. Here comes Ulis. Uh, getting ahead of the pack there to Murray. It was saved, and now Ulis. Here's Connor McCaffrey. Short and Cam Spencer clearing for Rutgers. McConnell rolls off. There's Chris Murray got Mulcahy on him. It was a left hand, cannot get the roll. Battle for the board. Rebracha has it. McCaffrey reloads. Does it go? And Amori the rebound. If you're Rutgers, you've got the mismatch right now. You're going side pick and roll. Watch for Amori to duck in at some point here in this possession. Shot clock at 10. McConnell on the move. Left it short. Sanford clears for the Hawks. Here comes Iowa on the run. Ulis for three. Offensive rebound, Murray. And a hell ball. Patrick McCaffrey, who has not played since January the 1st, as he has battled anxiety back in the game for Iowa and getting a standing ovation. I talked to him before the game, Brian. He told us. Felt like he was good to go. Just a wonderful sight to see. Here is Murray for three. And Chris Murray hits to bring this one even at 10. And it's great to see Patrick out there. Much needed lift on the basketball side, but just in general, everything that he's had to fight through, it's just a great scene. And this is what makes college basketball so fun. Well, these two teams played at Rutgers, the Scarlet Knights whole team signed a card. Patrick McCaffrey wishing him well. Offensive rebound there. Mulcahy knocked away. Knights maybe wanted a double dribble there. Mulcahy on the baseline gets the roll. So patient Mulcahy is. Understand that there's a lot of pressure coming out of him and just taking his time, not being rushed. There is McCaffrey. Now Murray going to try another. Good short. Eric Simpson in the game for Rutgers. Ahead to Mulcahy who lays it in. Rutgers able to get that stop and then push it down. Really good, easy bucket. Ulyss, coast to coast. Ulyss unable to finish off the three-point play. That fouls on the freshman Antoine Wolfolk. Rutgers. Last meeting, Rutgers struggled with this matchup zone. They continue, just run your man offense. You're gonna run some zone offense at time, but run your systems through. Shot clock under 10. Simpson now Wolfel. Trying to back down his man offensive foul. So two very quick fouls on the freshman. With a vengeance, Patrick McCaffrey. How good is that to see? Just as a basketball fan, as a kid that's going through something, to see that first one go through, 
Gotta feel good for him. And how Brutkers was in a 1-3-1 and that wide wing was wide open for him. You see Iowa now in the zone as well. Close out the shooters. Okay, he not a great outside shooter. Left that one a little bit short. And Patrick McCaffrey has it for Iowa. Tried the lob inside. Sanford wasn't ready for it. Max got it for Rutgers. A miscommunication there from the Hawks. There's Andre Hyatt. Couldn't hold on to it. McCaffrey's got it. Hawks in transition. And McCaffrey turns it over. Wolfolk filling the lane, lays it in. He's done a good job in transition offense. They've got a lot of layups early on in this game. Charlotte Knights back up by one. Connor McCaffrey. Sanford, he was fabulous when they played at Piscataway. Blocked there by Simpson, but Simpson gets called for the foul. Sanford putting Iowa back on top. Three lead changes so far in this one. Start with the tight since then. The Lieber into the game for Rutgers. Now a Murray down low gets the ball. Mentioned Amori, the great recruiting story, native of Nigeria. This is that free throw, so Rutgers' lead remains at one. Dex is in there for the Hawks. Here's Murray, good head fake, got Reaver in the air. Can't finish, Sanford the rebound, back up with it, no. Battle for the board, and what are they gonna call? Held ball, and so this one will go to Rutgers. Rutgers is second in the conference. They've got 33% of their misses in the Big Ten play. Iowa an outstanding offensive rebounding team as well. Here's Spencer. Now McConnell on the baseline, goes up the side of the backboard, and it bounced out of bounds, so it will be Iowa ball. Ball's got to go, ball reverses. Turnover there for the Hawkeyes. There's Spencer blocked away by McCaffrey. And now McCaffrey ahead of the pack, unable to convert. Perkins back up with it, and he's fouled. Hawks showing the press now. Presses a couple of things. Takes time off the shot clock, and now they've got to match up. Okay, and it's swatted by Dix. McConnell over Sanford. Offensive rebound, Reaver. And a fresh 20 for Rutgers. McConnell able to maintain his dribble. There's a Mori. Left it short, goes and gets it, but it's knocked away. And Sanford now. Here's Dix for three. Got it. Spencer hanging in the air, and he answers. First two for Cam Spencer. That was a big answer by Cam Spencer. Maybe this gets him going. Last couple of games hasn't played the level that we've seen from him. Just four of 21 from the field last two outings. Guy with the number one team in the country with a three. Both Western as well on the road with a three. McCaffrey not there. There's McConnell. Trying to get it to Spencer. 
turn around. And Rakacha has the rebound. Dix on the move. McCaffrey. This possession's already had four different sides that are getting Rutgers defense to shift. Here's Dix. And Josh Dix. Five quick boards for him. That's just seven over the last three games combined, so this infusion of offense. Out of the corner, Reber will try the three and rattles it home. Just the fourth three of the year for Dean Reber. And it's a scouting report situation there, knowing he's only made three so far prior to that, but you still have to have a hand contest. Patrick McCaffrey back out to Dix. He'll try another. Back heel and out, back to Patrick McCaffrey. Now Sanford for three. Go! Here's Reber inside and hits again. Dean Reber with five quick ones. Hadn't scored in the last two games. And wonderful to team up with the American Cancer Society. Natalie Morrison, who does an amazing job running the Coaches versus Cancer program. And Big Ten Network has been fully behind it this year more than any in a fabulous week and excited to partner with the American Cancer Society, raise awareness for the most important cause. And it's, it's so important. These players don't necessarily know, but, but the voice that they have and, and the, the eyes that are watching them and the coaches, what college basketball is doing, it's, it's a special thing. Frank got called for a technical foul. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. Uh, technical foul on Rabracha of Iowa. Spencer, who almost never misses a free throw. Hawkeyes on top. Spencer now McConnell. This is Moat Mag on the baseline, and Mag able to hit for Rutgers. On the other end, Perkins answers with a three. And that was a lack of communication on the defensive end by Rutgers. You just don't see that from Rutgers hardly ever. It's interesting, too, because uh, when watching that first game back last night, it, it really reinforced to me kind of how lost Rutgers was defensively in that game, which is so uncharacteristic. But Iowa does that to you. As Amori loses it out of bounds, and this is a tough team to defend by. There's Connor McCaffrey. And the rebound to McConnell. Cahey now. away. Here comes Murray. Okay, okay. Murray spinning through. Gets the way. And points now for Chris Murray and Iowa's lead out to five. All just in his bin. This crowd coming to its feet. In the corner, Mulcahy for three, and Mulcahy hits his second three of the day. And it started with dribble penetration to the elbow, to the kick to the opposite three. Big time three by Mulcahy. Uh, knocked away. Here's Rutgers on the break. Mag is fouled on the floor by Dix. it down low. Nice catch there by Murray. Shot clock under 10. 
Get something going here. Perkins working the dribble. Now Connor McCaffrey will fire the three and hit it. Well, King, he has to have a hand on that contest. The shot clock was coming down. You knew it. He knew the shot clock was coming down. Have that high hand. Sanford on him. Hyatt gets into the lane, left it short, you lose the board. Eulis for three. Good. Aaron Eulis into double figures with 10. And Iowa out to an eight-point lead. That's eight threes so far. There's Mag. Now okay here. Sanford stepping through, not there, tipped up, no. Rebound Mulcahy, who teardrops it in. Three Rutgers players crashing the boards hard to give him a second chance opportunity there. Hawks have hit eight of 14 behind the arc, but that has been a bugaboo for them, really, for both teams. It's their eighth turnover. Rutgers going to a weave in the high ball screen. Great show there by McCaffrey. It's okay, he. Lobs it down low. Reber. Stripped away, though. And here comes Iowa. Let them play that. I would say so. Hunter McCaffrey going to try another. That doesn't go. And... Rebound to Perkins. Here's Perkins hanging in the air. Rims out. Mag's got it now for Rutgers. Got numbers if they hurry. Mag through the lane. Off glass, no. Out of bounds. And it will go Iowa's way. The players are worried about getting the contact first instead of playing through the contact. Different philosophies here. You saw Rutgers has done it in the paint. Iowa's done it from behind the arc. Already eight threes in this game. They hit a dozen in New Jersey. That one goes from in the paint. And Chris Murray will go to the free throw line as well. Less than 40 seconds to go in this first half. And Iowa, 43 points against a Rutgers team that gives up 57 per game. And a very shot at his feet. That's the third turnover because of a post double team that Iowa's created. He's off here. Iowa can hold for one. On the move, Euless. Unabated to the hoop. Euless has 12, and then they turn it over. Oh, man. Euless misses there, but Iowa will head into the locker room with an 11-point advantage. I think overall, you've got to close out to your three-point, you know, shooters on the defensive end for Rutgers right now. That's where it's got to start. And on that screen, Chris has got to come to, to a complete jump stop. Play off the two feet there so that you don't get that foul. I mentioned the 13 turnovers. That is the most in the Big Ten game already for Rutgers. Just halfway home, and now it's 14. So that is their season high in conference play for turnovers. They had 19 in that rock fight against Seton Hall. Great end to the first half. On a 16 to 5 run. Here's Murray trying to keep it going. One drifts off the mark and Mag has the rebound. And now yet another turnover for Rutgers, just so uncharacteristic. We, we haven't seen, again, they haven't been live ball turnovers, which have let Iowa run out, but they just haven't been forced turnovers either.
Shot clock at 10. Connor McCaffrey. Now Murray working on McConnell. Fades away on the baseline. Gets the roll. That's great first great. Great offensive player versus great defense player. Offense wins that battle. Coming into today, tied for second in the Big Ten with Northwestern, trailing Purdue, which of course won earlier today. Here's a Mori, and he gets the roll. It all started with a high ball screen that caused the switch, and then the switch, Rutgers was able to take their time and get the ball in the post. All guys trying to end a two game skid. Whistle down low, and we got a foul on Rutgers. The toughest thing is that as soon as you grab, they're going to call them. Hill does such a good job playing with his body. Perkins, floater off the back rim, and Maury clears for Rutgers. Nowhere to go for Spencer. Another near turnover. Still plenty of time. Knocked out of bounds, though, by Murray. This is not a great offensive team by any stretch for Rutgers. But Iowa's done a fabulous job on them here. And just as we say it, Iowa gets loose on the baseline. The difference with that possession, though, Iowa's double clipped three times. He had three turnovers in that first half. There he took a retreat dribble. He saw the whole floor and then saw the cutter go to the front of the rim. There's Euless. That one back heel and out. Now Hyatt again. A couple quick hoops for Andre Hyatt. They've attacked the paint. They've been aggressive. And McCaffrey. Draws the foul and it will be a shooting foul there. So really well done by Connor McCaffrey. Oh. A lane violation there on Rutgers. McCaffrey able to hit the second one. Back up to a nine point lead. Rutgers is catch the ball. Add it away. I had able to come up with it. He will try the three. Not there. And the rebound comes to the Hawkeyes. Now Perkins working behind the screen from Rabracha. Perkins swatted away by Mag. What a foul. Simpson, but a foul on Iowa on the rebound. Simpson, nice strong drive. Here's two for Derek Simpson. It's a big week for Iowa. They get three straight home games. This one, then they get that Northwestern game, and then Illinois. So three teams solidly in the top of the Big Ten in terms of the standings coming here to Iowa City. The Hawks look to bolster their resume. Not a good possession. There's no ball movement or body movement by Iowa. Now it's late shot clock. And McCaffrey left that one short of Maury snaring the rebound. You could see that coming just by the start of that possession. Okay, on the drive, it's swatted away. Well done by Chris Murray, and now Iowa on the run. Perkins for three. Well, he ends up dishing it off, and it's knocked out of bounds. Chance to win some games on the home court, but really to enhance that resume as well, Brian. Well, and you said on the home court, you got to take advantage of your home games. 
Sanford had it swatted away, gets it back. We got a whistle and he walked. But he's been so good in that area of not fouling this year and still contesting shots. He's gotten so much better on that. That's what a big week this is for Iowa. Mike DeCorsi's bracket had them as an 11 seed on Friday, so they need some quality wins. Mag getting there for Rutgers. Iowa quickly the other way. Simpson trying to penetrate that zone. Now the three to Hyatt. Left it short. Reber, nice offensive rebound. Simpson doesn't get the roll. And here comes Iowa. Here's Murray. He is fouled on his way to the hoop. So the foul starting to roll up here on Rutgers. It's four on Reber. It's six on the team. Murray, deep penetration. We just aren't used to seeing this from Rutgers defense. A wide open layup given. Mag. Down low to Reber. Tough catch, Mulcahy. Trapped down the baseline. Reber hit one earlier. That one. Back heel and out. Sanford for three. Left it short. Okay, he on the run. Reber fills the lane. Big basket there. And now Rutgers wants a timeout. Here's Murray. Great head fake out of Murray in the air. Strong drive in the finish. But I was doing a great job of reading the closeouts now. They haven't made a three in this second half, but they've attacked the basket based on closeouts. Okay. Patrick McCaffrey back in there. Amori wrestles his way through and gets the roll. So Cliff Amori will go to the free throw line. You can't be forced into playing faster than you want to play. That's one thing Iowa wants you to do. You can't fall for that. Those 58 points for the Hawkeyes have already exceeded the average that Rutgers gives up per game. We've mentioned a couple times, 57 is that number. And Murray backing in on McConnell. Wilkins went for the board. Murray back up, and he will go to the strike. I think someone's going to be how you handle the offensive end here. Again, you see Iowa in this matchup 2 3 zone. Your Rutgers don't hold the basketball. Use pass fakes, move the ball, get multiple sides, get this defense to move. There's Mag. They do get it into the middle there. Hyatt and Amori able to keep it alive. It's in the hands of Simpson. Fresh 20 for Rutgers. Possession huge here for the Scarlet Knights as they try to keep this one close. Mag, easy pull up and lot Mag into double figures with 10. Fourth time this year he scored in double figures. Mag did a good job of kind of coming and finding that soft spot. Ulis with the pull up. And Aaron Ulis rolls home points number 13 and 14, his first of the second half. He's done a good job of being aggressive this afternoon. Here's Mag again, and that one well short. Amori the rebound and throws it down. If you're Rutgers, you got to defend. You're starting to do some really good things on that offensive end, but you've got to get stops down on this end. Who's their bread and butter? Patrick McCaffrey. Three earlier in his return after missing six games. And now a foul again on the Scarlet Knights. This one on the one man, his second. And so Iowa will head to the free throw line. That's what we all want to see it is Patrick Caffrey. McCaffrey playing the game that he loves. And, and you know, 
now we talk the basketball side of this Iowa team. I mean, it's just another weapon that they have back, in, and we know what he's can bring this team. Here's a Mori through the lane. They did a great job without Patrick McCaffrey at one four of six. And the great comeback against Indiana. Of course, won that game at Rutgers. Here is McCaffrey who drains another three. As if on cue, six points now for Patrick McCaffrey. And, and that's what he brings, another scoring option for this team. That length, you can't go under that screen, he's going to drill it every time. Here's Hyatt out of the corner, and he hits. Andre Hyatt has come alive here in the second half, all seven of his points. Patrick McCaffrey cut off, and he turns it over. Here's Hyatt. Thought about it. Now Cam Spencer will shoot it. Battle for the board. Amori wins that. Back up. No. Airballed it. And Connor McCaffrey has it for the Hawks. Halfway point of the second half. Seven point Iowa lead. Patrick McCaffrey behind the screen. He hits another. Seen high up the other way. <laughs> Andre Hyatt and Patrick McCaffrey playing horse here. Ten now for Hyatt. And the lead back down to seven. And it's been good. You look at this, no, no filter brought you on the floor. Now all of a sudden that moves McCaffrey to the five, creates different angles. Where's Cliff and who is Cliff gonna guard? Like that's the piece that having McCaffrey back in this. 57 points per game that Rutgers gives up. When they give up more than 67, they have yet to win this year. 0 and 5. So Iowa's hit that mark. Hyatt will try another one. And he gets the friendly roll. Andre Hyder at 14 against Penn State is most since November. Now has 13 here, all of them in the first 11 minutes of this second half. And it was a great extra pass there by Cam Spencer. Feed the hot hand. Absolutely. And this team, this Rutgers team, has been so good about that all year long. Give Rutgers a ton of credit here. Back within four. Perkins, no, gets his own board. Back up, no. And Patrick McCaffrey's got it. Leaning in, not there. And now here comes Mulcahy. Spencer lays it in. And a timeout for Iowa. I see 58% from the field in the second half. That'll keep you in a lot of games. Murray trying the three, not there. Rebound Spencer. And here comes Rutgers. Other thing is they turned the ball over 15 times in the first 21 minutes. None in the first 11. Reaver in the last 11, I should say. Reaver is fouled. And so he will go to the free throw line with a chance to tie this game up as Perkins got him there. Unable to bring this game back to a tie though. We have not been tied since it was 29-29 with about five minutes to go in the first half. McCaffrey cut off there, gets it down low. Perkins, Rabracha lays it in. First two of the game for Philip Rabracha. Good timing there. Good interior pass. Here's Mulcahy backing down Dix. And offensive foul. Number two on Paul Mulcahy. First hoop for Rabracha. He's averaging 14 per game. Steve Butler was telling us last night how impressed he's been with Rebracha. He had such a good game the last time they played with 12 and 12 as well. Now on the drive, it's Rebracha again, and he'll go to the strike. <laughs> Rebracha hits them both. And back up to a five-point lead after Rutgers have been within one. So four straight points here for the Hawkeyes. Pin down comes for Spencer. Tries the three. Rattles out. Perkins the rebound. Just been struggling the last couple of games, but you feel like it's a game that he's going to have to hit a shot for Rutgers to win this game. Back he 
closing in on Spencer. Backs him down into a trap. Seven to shoot. Dix for three. And he got him. A 7 0 run for the Hawks to move it up to an eight point lead. Spencer over Dix quiets the crowd. Big shot. Here's Perkins. Rebound Rabracha, and he will go back to the strike. Bracha, one of two, out to five points for the game, back to a seven-point lead for Iowa. And a response by Iowa, and it's been because they've been able to get to the paint, not threes, it's been the, the paint action, which has been able to help Iowa's extend that lead. There's 13 in terms of free throw makes, we told you earlier, far more makes than their opponents have attempts on the year. Here's Spencer. They drive in on Murray. Mulcahy, five to shoot for Rutgers. Mulcahy, two to shoot. The turnaround, not there. Battle for the board. Which way is it going? It's Iowa's ball. Dix able to dribble free. Here's Perkins. And reverses it in. Trying to get it to Amori. 78 points is the most that Rutgers has allowed all season. And yet still within spinning distance here. Mag inside, and he will go to the line. to attack pressure, but you got to make sure of your passes. On the drive, Murray. First step of his is so quick. 22 now. Hyatt. And he traveled. I will try to finish off a season sweep of Rutgers. They need a timeout here, unable to Get the ball inbounds. Brian McCaffrey. Go, go, go. Go, go. Lead, lead has been as big as 13. Rutgers got it down to one. Since then, Hawks have hit four of five from the field. Yeah, David, they haven't settled. That's been the biggest thing. They've been able to get the ball to the paint. They've got to the free throw line because they've been aggressive. You is getting downhill. Missed the layup. Murray keeps it alive, but Hyatt has it for Rutgers. There's McConnell. That will four fouls. McConnell spins in and draws the foul. It's on Sanford, his second. This league, but in, in, in across the country, one of the best defenders across the country. That's why this afternoon so su surprised to see 80 points behind. We know that's what Iowa does, but at times I, Rutgers just looked kind of lost out there. There's Perkins, shot clock under five, swatted away, and Rutgers has it. So good defensive possession there from the Scarlet Knights. Get it to four with a three-pointer here. 
was being hounded by Perkins. This crowd coming to life. Less than three minutes to go. Okay, he hanging in the air and hitting. Third straight double figure game. I'm sorry, third straight double figure game for Mulcahy. Attack the paint now defensively. Continue to stay communicated and play as five. Times we've seen him get extended. There's that versatility with the switch. Shot clock under 10. Ball is loose. Shot clock at five. Sanford. Can't get it to go. Max got it now for Rutgers. Last four possessions, two on offense, two on defense, has been everything that Rutgers has won. Mulcahy in on McCaffrey. No mag the offensive board, and it's stripped away by Perkins. And now mag could have been called for the foul there. No call. Could have been a foul there. Could have been a double dribble there, and then they call the foul of Mulcahy. It's a both. With two minutes left here, still Rucker still continue to get to the basket. You don't have to stop anything that you've been doing. There's Reber had a really nice game. Bobs it for a more. He knocks away. Great play by Connor McCaffrey. Great play by McCaffrey. Just a tough pass. That's one that you just you can't make in that situation. You just play it out here if you're Rutgers. Play it out here. You still have time. Absolutely. It's a three possession game. Connor McCaffrey will try the three and hit it. That is a dagger there from Connor McCaffrey up to a 10 point lead. Spencer hanging and hitting. Hawks able to get it in. Little trouble with the pressure, but they're able to get it across here. And now a foul. Spencer misses the free throw, which he almost never does. Murray now up to 24 points. Ida will throw up a three and hit it. Andre Ida has had a phenomenal second half here. 16 points since the break. Back to a nine point game. Loose ball in the backcourt, and Caffrey, they call the timeout. Third time in Big Ten play, Iowa has hit 90 or more points this year. There's a Mori down low and he lays it in. The sixth time this year overall that Iowa has hit 90. That is the most in the Big Ten. Highest scoring team in the league. And it looks like Rutgers will not foul here. Or maybe they will. Sanford money at the line. Final thoughts here, Brian. Just overall offensively, Iowa, they answer the questions. And Rutgers, they had showed great fight, but defensively just weren't good enough. 93 points for the Hawks. Most Rutgers has given up by far this year. A 93-82 win as Rutgers falls to 1-5 all time in this building. Just their third loss in their last 11 games. Iowa ending in two-game skids.